Okay, uh, I have launched my Cisco Packet Tracer. Okay, we are going to continue with the uh, Cisco router. All right, and so I've already launched my router and moved into the CLI, which is the command line interface. Okay, so I'm actually starting from the beginning so that uh, you're not confused. All right, so now we will uh, continue from the prompt, the iOS CLI prompt. And of course, I will do an enable first. All right, so you can see the prompt actually uh, change. Okay, and of course, I can run whatever command I want, okay, as usual. Okay, but now I want to run a command called show history. So the show history actually show two things, uh, which is the previous command that was executed. This is something like your DOS key in a window where you can use your up add and down arrow key to select the previous uh, history, okay, the command that was uh, executed. But uh, if you think about it, this is also good uh, for administrators as well as a forensic investigator, okay, uh, to identify what command was previously run all right uh, but you need to know what is the maximum that it can handle so to do to see that information you need to show okay the terminal which will tell you the terminals uh, setup or the setting and over here this line over here of course my screen is a bit smaller right, you will see that the show history is enabled the history is enabled but it will only store 10 10 previously key in uh, commands all right so that's what it will actually uh, show that of course the rest are some other information about that but what if the person that's creating mischief knows that the default of this show history is actually 10 the default setting of this router this brand of router or this model of the router is actually 10 then he or she will just uh, randomly key in another 11 so-called uh, commands then whatever he has done the command that he has executed get pushed out all right so that's what we want to tackle here is we do not want uh, to leave it as such a small little size as 10. So how do I change this? Well, you change it by changing the terminal setting. Which setting do you want? Which is the history setting because that's what's up there. And what do I want to change? I want to change the size. So right now is actually, all right, I'm allowed zero to 256, but of course, uh, don't make it so huge because it will eat up your memory inside your routers. And uh, of course, routers are, there are not many routers in a network and you can actually by eating up memories inside the router you slow down the router and that could cause bottlenecks in your network okay so let's say i go for 25 right. did my setting when it okay because there is no confirmation well uh, easy way to see this is to show the terminal again and now you can see that yes the history is still enabled but the history size is now 25 so if this so-called mischievous administrator that you have inside your organization were to key in randomly 11 uh, normal looking command in the attempt to push out your push out his or her mischievous command or right, you can still see it or right, if you are fast enough because your history size is a lot larger okay so hopefully this can be used for the administrator of a network or uh, for 
forensic investigator, computer forensic investigator in that case for cyber security, you can actually uh, change this. So hopefully you can catch the problem. All right. And of course, print screen it or even just take a photo of it. Okay. So that it can be used as an evidence.